<laughs> what do you know about bloody outer space? I've had first-hand experience no, with right. that stuff. Stand down, Neil. Stand down. What are you talking about? I don't want you laughing at me because it's, it's quite serious, this, okay? All right. Sorry, go on. I've... I've had an uh, an encounter. Like outer space? Or? I had an experience in my life that I have absolutely... I mean, if I, I've had yeah. been able to contact spirits for a very young age, but I have absolutely had the most traumatic experience right. that I cannot yeah. explain. Wanna, yeah. I've got no... Yeah. Yeah. Okay, Thank couple you of very much, Sonia. Yeah. Yeah, Go great. on, sorry about me. I didn't, I didn't mean to upset oh, no, you. It's not your fault. You're not to know. Go on, what happened? I didn't want to talk about this. Go on. Uh, I went up to see my uh, sister, and uh, I'd, I picked a cab. We flew into Toronto. What sort of year was this? What's that? Which year was oh, this? Oh, sorry, it was 1998. Right, OK. And I just picked a car. I had a fantastic journey up the road. I was listening to the radio, and mm. it was it was a marvellous drive. It was lovely. Mm. I got into the car. It was a Buick. I remember that. Right. Deep breath. Come on. I oh, know, but I'm on it. And I'm going along this wee road, and, I mean, it was just fields. It was absolutely, I mean, beautiful. Dark, you know what I mean? Right. And next thing, oh, for crying out loud, what's that? It was like, I'm not kidding you. It was the brightest thing I've ever seen in my life. What was it? It's just a very bright light, and I just sort of stopped. And uh, I remember, uh, I remember seeing a sweet guy who was, he didn't look right. He had about, he was about three foot two, and he was, because I didn't know what to do, and I couldn't move. And the next thing, he's near the motor, and he's opened the door. Right, okay. He's sitting down, his wee pal came to us. Like an alien. And he, oh, he was, he wasn't even, because I couldn't move and I don't like nobody to move. Right, okay. He opened the door. Oh, he God. took us out. What, of what? What did he open the door of what? My car. Bloody hell. And he said to me, look into that, look into this, and this sort of funny voice. And, that, and I just, he was talking to me, it was in my head. And the next thing, whoosh, what? I'm away. And I just remember lying in this. I don't know what that was. It was like a bed. All right, all right. Robert. And I was not wearing any clothes. Yeah, can you try and speak more English so we can understand what? I wasn't wearing any clothes. Something about clothes. Yeah. I wasn't wearing. I wasn't wearing any oh, clothes. Oh, sorry. Yeah. And I looked over to my left, barely able to look at her in my left. And I was just, yeah. I look at her, and there's like a whole rack. I thought it was cutlery, but it was the cutlery. Oh, Christ. It was, it was like metal poles, wee kind of sticky things, you know. Right. And it just, it just rammed it right up my shirt. And it says, don't move. I couldn't move. It was just awful. And he's thrusting this thing into me. It was awful. All right. <laughs> Sorry, just to clarify, up oh, oh, your, your anus. <laughs> and he's pushing this thing. Yeah, up your bottom. Up, my, uh, up, my up and down. Up and down. In and out. Oh, it was so fucking painful. How and big was it? I don't know. 20 inches long. And there's no little top lube on it. You just, you just went straight in, did it? <laughs> Yeah. I thought oh, he went into my brain. Christ <laughs> almighty. So, and then I remember, mm. I remember he jabbing me in my arm, and I remember distinctly. Yeah. I remember, I remember him prodding away at my right arm. Yeah. And then that was it. Well, I woke up in my car again. Right. That was it. It was over and done with in my car. Well, and then I got away up the road. Um, I went to my sister's. Right. She said I had a face like fizz the whole night. Right. I just sat there, didn't take any of her tea or biscuits or none. But the weird thing was, she put me in my bed, right? Yeah. I woke up in the morning. Yeah. And I'll tell you something. <laughs> my God, I couldn't shut up. And I felt my arm in here. There was a wee lump. Right. And I says, that was it. There was something under my arm. Right. And you think that they're like tr- tracking you or something? Aye, but what I did was I ran in, I stupidly ran into the bog. Right. And I got a razor blade and I cut my arm and a wee right. thing fell out. It was a wee bit of metal. I went down oh the my. thing and I fucking lost it, didn't I? Right. And I think it was like a transmitter or something. Well, she just thought I was self harming. All right. And I just went back to the Toronto right. and stayed right. at the holiday and I couldn't face her. All right. Then went home. I'm going to give. I was only there for a the day. I'm going to give Ramon a little chance to calm down. I'm off a sorry, Clint. Uh, really I want to tell you that I'm very concerned about you. I know the listeners as well. And I've just had Neil Armstrong and Buzz have just oh, come round. Ra- no, well, they've just come round and they've said they're sorry for taking the piss out of you. And they're actually very sorry as well. And they have. So, what's that? 
Neil Armstrong said he's heard of this stuff. It, it, it sounds terrible. Thank you, Neil. Thank you for your I'm concern. I'm Neil. I didn't mean to be rude to you, and, and thank you, Neil, Buzz. I'm off sorry. And if you've got something you want to talk about and you've had an experience like that, yeah. Neil... Honestly, you can channel me anytime you like. Right, I'm right. usually after the 10 o'clock news, right. I usually go through to my bedroom and I usually sit and read a book. But if you want to come through yeah. Monday to Friday, I'll be available right. for well, you, Right, well, he's son. gone. He's gone now, oh, anyway. Right. Okay. And and I've just remembered Buzz is still alive. So it might not have been him. It might have been um, Michael... Yuri Gagarin? Yuri Gali, yeah. So, no, Yuri Gagarin. Oh, sorry. Yuri Gagarin. And... He wants to say he's very sorry. Mm. And even that little dog, um, what was the dog who went up there? Even he's waving his little paw. It was a monkey, I think. And the monkey and all. It was and a they're monkey. Up, they're the monkey's waving his paw. It exploded, hand. apparently, when the atmosphere. That's another lie. Oh, I went up and it came down, but they had loads of monkeys. Didn't all right, monkey. that we don't need any more. And anyway, we want to say, Ramon, thank you for that lovely story. Oh, I'm off a story. I think, no, no, myself. no. And let me look at your arm. I can indeed see... That's it. Move that up. Mm. No, it's just there. He's kind of going away. The hair's kind of. Yeah, that's a mole. uh, No, that's a mole. Oh, sorry, that's a mole. And I believe there is something that's happened to you there. And I want to say, on behalf of me, Mm. Melissa, and NASA, well, good luck. Hope it all clears up. Mm. And thank you so much for joining us. Thank you so much, people. Clinton Baptiste is not liable for any losses incurred while selling your house or changing jobs or wives or getting off with the PA or whatever. If a ghost has told you to do it via me, it's not really Clinton Baptiste who's saying it, it's the spirit. Remember, some ghosts can be horrible as well as nice and dabbling with the dead and that is at your own risk.